that is big. This is a huge desk. Now, this year is my final year at university and I decided I'd splash the cash on a nice desk setup. You know, after having a tiny desk in uni halls for the last two years, I decided it was time to up my game and basically see if it would make me more productive and if it would help me get better grades and if it would help me upload more. And I guess we will find out them answers very soon because I'll have January exams for my degree, I'll have uh, June exams as well. Now the last week at uni has been freshers week and it has been hectic, honestly hectic. So I've got a vlog all about the stuff I've been doing since I've been back to uni coming soon. And I start lectures again, I start them tomorrow, which should be interesting. I need to sync my timetable to my Google Calendar. If you don't know how to do that or you don't know what that is, that is the most useful thing ever. Everything you see behind me will be linked in the description down below. Uh, not because this is a sponsored video, but purely in case you guys want to get any of the items on there because there are some great organization items um, and everything like that. But why? Why did I decide to splash the cash on a huge desk setup? Basically, I wanted a place where I could have all my equipment, I could have all of my books, and I could just kind of come here and just get on with stuff, right? Now, the one thing you guys all probably want to know about is why did I get such a big screen? Now, to be honest, I didn't know I needed this bigger screen until I saw Ali Abdel's setup video. And this is why I've got such a big screen, because it is perfect for doing stuff like this. So I've got my Finder open in case I need to open, let's say, some files. I've got my Google Chrome tab open if I'm doing research. I've got my Word document open. And I've got also got my Adobe Premiere Pro open, but that's kind of irrelevant. It's more multitasking if I'm studying for an exam or if I'm doing a dissertation or anything like that. It's just saves so much time and hassle. I find for me, my brain can be pretty scat sometimes. I might be looking at something but thinking about something else and having all these different things on screen, I reckon will help me kind of stay, will give me like tunnel vision and tunnel focus, which is definitely very good for me. This is a Samsung monitor. Um, it will be linked in the description down below. I also bought separate speakers for it. It allows me to control the volume without touching my Mac. And this whole thing is powered by my MacBook Pro. Like I, I took inspiration from Ali's video about this. Go check his out. Oh, right, let's get the strobes on. So yeah, I can get in my zone. I get in my zone and I'm bang, 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 bang. Focus, focus, focus. H having said that though, it's very distracting and tempting to just watch Netflix on this. Let me take you through my desk setup. It's gonna definitely gonna help me get a first. Definitely, I just feel it. I just actually, there's probably no chance I'm gonna get a first. Met a two one. It's gonna help me get a two one or keep a two one. It's gonna help me not lose a two one in my degree. Does that even make sense? I don't even know. Now, one of the most useful things on my desk is my wooden organizer. I have all of my books at the bottom. I have computer glasses, my calculator. Anything I need goes up here. Now, this just helps me not waste time looking for stuff as it's all right in plain view. Now the desk is an Ikea Limon Alex desk and it comes with five drawers plus five on that side to so ten drawers and a two meter long tabletop. The only thing with this desk is that I wish it was a bit more that, what's that called? A bit more... A bit more deeper. Such a big screen, I'm very close to it, so I always have eye saver mode on on it. I also have a trusty gaming pad to prevent scratches when I'm moving this around or placing my laptop down on there. I also have a surge protected power block here that I can plug all of my charges in, LED lights in, computer in, and remain safe, hopefully. The lamp is an LED lamp that basically has a few different settings so that when I'm working in the evenings, if I want to turn off the big light, I can just switch on my lamp and have that nice cozy kind of late night study feel to um, to whatever work I'm doing. I have a oak laptop stand so that I can just literally take my laptop out of my bag, plug in the USB-C from my monitor to my laptop and boom, we're in like that. I don't have to, you know, open it up, set it up and then plug it in. Just boom, boom, boom. Lots of speed, high productivity. I've got my Rode microphone stand so that when I'm doing voiceovers, I can literally just sit down pull over the microphone when I need it, do the voiceover, push it back really quick, helpful for editing videos. There's a headphone stand, which is realistically a big novelty. It looks pretty cool and modern. 
And that is my desk setup. It's, it's honestly my dream setup. I don't really think I could ask or need anything else. Maybe a plant, but I don't know if it really goes with the room. Please, it needs to make me more productive. But this is probably the most modern desk setup I've seen. There are a few th key things in my desk area that I'm going to quickly show you now because they add that extra element of organization to my life. And here they are. A Fallout poster just for that character. A cool poster I got as an add-on item in Amazon. The frame was like £20 though. I've also got an academic wall planner which I'm tempted to release as merch but you'd have to let me know about that in the description down below. I can just write down because I get quite busy sometimes what I'm doing. And then I've got my whiteboard where I can write down my to-do stuff there and then. Very useful indeed for how much I paid for it. And there you guys have it. That has been my desk setup, an ultra modern 2019, 2020, 21st century desk setup for getting high grades, first in your degrees and improving your productivity. Now, um, yeah, <laughs> if you get this set up and you don't get high grades, I can't be, I can't be blamed. I actually can't be blamed. Now, how on earth can I justify the University of Cambridge being in my thumbnail? Basically, I just feel like every Cambridge student has this sort of setup, so um, purely trying to get them extra views, if I'm being honest. No way. Brighton are winning against Spurs 7 3 0. Pochettino's going to get the sack. I legit think I've lost all of my work from last year in Sydney and my first year textbooks because they're not in the drawers, I don't have a clue where they are, so... Now, since I just showed you the main part of my room, which is my desk setup, you can see it right there. This is pretty much where I spend all of my time when I'm in my room, other than when I'm sleeping, of course, down there. Um, I thought that I may as well do a whole room tour so you guys can get a feel of how my room is, how you can expect your room to be in the second and third year, because although you've seen my room before, you haven't seen how I've organized it to make the most of the space and everything like that. Now, coming away from my desk, we have my first cabinet where basically I've got a few snacks. I've got my vitamins. I've got lots of water to keep hydrated. Got my cream for acne, just a cool little um, flask and everything like that. And a book which I read at night. I've then got some storage, which I've got some random bits and bobs under. And I've got all of my football boots down here because there isn't enough room in the shoe racks downstairs. We've got some space down the back of this bed where I've got my blue screen, a Samsung box and my washing basket. And it's quite a nice place to have the washing basket because it kind of, it's out of the way. Come along here, you've got the radiator, you've got some more storage down here. I've decided that I want to have another shoe space here. I, I've got a rug, obviously. I store lots of stuff under the bed, random stuff. And then we've got a whole section here, which I basically use to, you know, to get dressed, to put bits and bobs. But I actually have an excess of storage. For instance, I'm not using any of this. I've got my guitar ni nice and uh, tidily in the corner. And my clothes. This wardrobe is so broken, but in here. But something that's really weird is, right, where there's um, this window, it's not a normal window, it's a loft conversion window. There's no curtain, instead there's just a complete blackout blind. So when I turn off this light, when I turn off this one, and when I turn off my lights over here, turn these off, no matter what time of day it is, it's just pitch black. Which basically means that it could be 4 a.m. or 4 p.m. pitch black in here. I wouldn't even know. Very weird. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. This is the desk setup that I'm going to be rocking for, for the rest of my degree. Weird to think of it like that. I finally found my books from Sydney, so I didn't lose them, thank goodness. Um, now they're safe and secure in this drawer down here. So if I ever think I lose them again, they're in this drawer, okay? This year, I'm not gonna be taking notes on my laptop. I've decided I'm gonna stick to pen and paper as I've done throughout the whole of my degree. And it's kind of served me well so far, so I'll take that. And also, I copped these shoes, right? Everybody's roasting me. I think they're kind of fresh, they're quite cheap as well. Let me know what you think of these.